no, I made this mistake in the past, where a friend would invite me to their birthday party. I'd be there, spend my time with them, celebrate with them, and have fun. But I'd end up leaving the party too soon. If you're the type of person who leaves too soon, you know what this makes the person who invited you feel. They'd feel disrespected. Disrespected because you left too early, which makes them believe you didn't like the party, you didn't like the people there, and more importantly, you didn't appreciate the effort the host had to go through to run this party. They're not gonna want to invite you again because they'll remember you as that person who leaves too soon. And I didn't know that at the time, until I eventually found it to be true much later in life. Why do people give up? They give up because their mind is somewhere else. They're not 100% in the moment. Their mind is 50% in the moment, but the other 50% is somewhere else. If you go around life doing 50% of everything, every task, and every interaction you have with others, then how could you possibly be fulfilled? By operating at 50% capacity of your energy with anything you do, you are not performing as you should in order to succeed that very thing you wanted to do in the first place. You came to the party to have fun. Are you having fun? I get it. If you're a highly enterprising individual who's always thinking of the next move to your business, you've got emails to reply to, people who's dependent on you, you can't entirely focus on the now. But you're here, at the party. What should you do? Should you leave to get the work done? Or just be in the moment and enjoy what you have already decided. You decided to accept the party invitation, so give it your all. Commit to being there from beginning till the end, and that is how it should be when you agree to commit to something. Not just the house party scenario, but in business, in performing arts, in relationship with people, and in overall character. If you plan on leaving too soon at anything, if you're half assing it, going 50%, it's because your mind is somewhere else. Your body may be in the moment, but your mind is telling you to do something else, and people will see this from you. You become unreliable to people. They will believe you're that type of person who will quit halfway through. And you don't want to be given that title now, do you? The person who went halfway. Let me tell you a story about Mono Tupo. He was a teacher that teaches theater actors. One time, there was this man on stage and he was doing his acting. The students were sitting on the side watching him perform. Every student had to give comments on the actor's performance of whoever was on stage. So the guy does his scene, does an average job about it, finishes it. And Mono said to him, What's the matter? What happened? He wasn't pleased with his acting. Then the guy gets into this story saying, for the past week, he's been sleeping in his car. He was homeless. He lost his girlfriend, lost his house, lost his job, had not properly eaten in days. And still, he wanted to get on stage and perform. As he was telling the story, the students felt bad for him. They were like, Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I can't believe this is happening to you. He was looked upon by the students as this lonely guy who didn't really talk to anybody, looked a bit scruffy, so he started to get worse and worse as he vented out his situation for 15 minutes. The students praised him for being brave enough to stand on stage and still performed after all the shit he went through. They were applauding him. When he finished telling his sad story, 
Manu commented back, and this is what he said to him. With his deep, booming voice, I don't give a fuck what happened on the outside. Every student were like, whoa, absolutely startled. It hit them like wind, like Fusruda. They felt bad for the guy, and here's this teacher saying, I don't give a fuck what happened on the outside. That's your business. Do not step on stage unless you're going to be a professional. And that right there was an important lesson to remember for a lifetime. It's not about giving up because personal things happen to you. It's about keeping to your words no matter what adversities you're facing. We were brought up that if we have all these excuses, things are going wrong, girlfriend, boyfriend broke up with you, you're feeling ill, feeling tired, you lost your job, welcome to planet earth. We were taught that if we have all these problems, we should be excused for not doing a good job in what we do. Manu said, when you get on stage, the audience are coming in unpaid to watch you do the job. They don't care what your day was like. They're there to be entertained, informed and educated. They don't care about your excuse for doing a half ass job in anything. Because if you're not performing in your best ability now, then anything you try to do next will also reflect on your performance there. If you go 50% on this now, then that's all you'll ever be with everything. You put your actions into habit and eventually it'll become the norm. As a result, your performance is average, people will feel that you're not doing your best, you yourself can feel it in you that you could do better. If you're not going to be professional in that moment and instead be amateur about it, not only are you dragging yourself down, but you are dragging everyone else down. You are toxic in a group. So fix your mindset and tell yourself this every time you go out, that if you agreed to do something, you do your very best at it. And I can assure you, people will give up less on you because you yourself aren't giving up on you. If you learned something of value, I'd appreciate you leave a like and subscribe to Clyde Devira. That is my name. Be the best and fuck the rest.